Everybody knows that flat roofs can be a problem and this particular flat roof has caused more than its fair share of leaks. The owner has had some of it re-roofed at great cost. That still hasn't solved the problems. There are other areas where you can see obvious signs of deterioration. Now I'm gonna fix these problems with this range of Everbuild products, which I've used in the past. So I'm gonna take you through some of the common problems you get and some of the not so common problems you get and show you exactly what these products do. And at the end, we're gonna finish it off with a nice coat of polyurethane liquid roofing, which is a great product, looks great, and you can recoat it. So here we've got a rather obvious problem, a little bit of a hole in the membrane, and it's actually a concrete base underneath, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna repair this with this Everquill emergency roof repair, which can be used on damp surfaces. If you brush away the surface water, you can use it, and also if it rains, it doesn't matter. So great emergency repair product. Looks like I'm blessed with a bit of fine weather today, but it doesn't mean you can't use it in the dryer, of course. When you put this on, a good way to check how thick it is, is if you see the roller roll, it's too thin. In other words, we want to use this roller more like a squeegee. Don't think of it like painting. Think of it just spreading out like that. That's what we're after. Bit too thin there. Go back for another bit, and then you'll see that it just runs the bead out there. You might wonder what the purpose of this fleece is. It binds the coating together and it prevents things like this happening. You can see where this is just kind of shrunk away, if you like, and cracked over the year, another product. But if you put that fleece down, it gives it an integrity. Now, even though this roof has recently been done, there's all kinds of areas, little suspect areas where it might leak. For example, down here, where they've just put this round, they've poured some bitumen underneath. It might be fine, but I'm gonna go round this with some Everquill, which has got a fibre reinforcement in it. So we don't need any fleece, we just paint this on and the fibres hold it together. So I'll go around any lifted seams, anywhere I can see where I think the water could get in, I'll give it a coat of this. Now, to tell you the truth, this day started off sunny and I thought we were going to be okay, but that looks a little bit dangerous to me. But we don't have to worry because so long as we get this on, it doesn't matter if it rains immediately afterwards. If the roof is damp, we can just brush off any surface water and it's okay. So I'm just going to crack on with it and hope I get in before that cloud bursts. Now, don't brush this out too much. In fact, it's nice and goopy. We don't want to put it on like paint and thin it out too much. We want all those little fibers in there to knit together. Now, I know there'd be people watching this who will think that this is kind of DIY bodge job and that they ought to get a professional roofer in to do it. But don't forget, they've already paid eight grand. They've had the pros in and the pros haven't done the job. Now it's a bit of a patchwork quilt this roof really and most of it's okay quite honestly but with this Tortron felt when you put it on you're supposed to make sure you've got a continuous bead of bitumen just easing out the edge and that's how you know it's stuck down. So when you get edges which are a little bit up and a little bit suspect that the rain might get under what we can do is just lift the edge 
clean it out, get rid of any moss or anything like that, and then just get a little bit of the Evercryl and paint it on, push it under if you can, under that raised edge, and that'll help it stick down. And then, as I say, don't paint it out too much, just dab it on and leave it. And here comes the rain. Now this is a funny little area down here, you might think it's insignificant, but actually it's taken all the water off this flat roof through this downpipe, and it's also taken the water off the pitch roof, which is going onto the flat roof. And what's happening here is on the inside, it's soaking through and that wall is really damp on the inside. So I can see a couple of little cracks here. So I'm gonna use this Evercryl emergency roof repair, and gun it into the crack, and then I'm gonna give it a coat of the Evercryl fibre reinforced product over the top of it and hopefully that will stop that damp from coming in into that room. Now if all this is confusing you a little bit, making your head spin, you're not alone because it did take me a little while to work out which product was best for which application because Everbuild do have a lot of products but they've also got a very good technical department so they can help you if you're a bit confused about which product to use where you've got a specific application, you need some help, it's best to check it out with them first rather than make the mistake. But just let me summarize the difference between these two products. We've got the polyurethane here. Now, if you use the polyurethane, if you put it onto felt, it will react with a felt. So you must use the fleece on top, or and you put down the polyurethane, then the fleece, then more polyurethane, that's fine. But this is an acrylic product, the Evercryl, and the idea of that is more as a repair. It's got fiber reinforcement in it, but if you use it as a repair, you don't need to use the fleece because it's knitted together by those fiber reinforcements. So as an instant roof repair, it's absolutely fine, but this is more of a liquid coating system, a liquid waterproofing coating that you would use to give yourself a long-term, almost like a new roof. And let me just say one more thing about this polyurethane coating. It's not only for repairs. I have actually seen it used on a new roof. So if you've got something like OSB on there or plywood, you can actually go on with the polyurethane. You don't then need the reinforcing fleece on it. You can just paint it straight onto the timber, believe it or not, and it's a fantastic product. I actually saw it being used some years ago on a church roof where they'd had the lead stolen so many times off the church roof that they decided to paint it on with the polyurethane product. And I've been back to look at that church roof and it's still good, it's still doing a great job and not leaking all those years later. So I've got a little bit left in the tin, so I might as well go around and do all those other little bits and pieces I can see. But if you want any more details on any of these products, all the links are in the description below.